Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. And I am here with another, I want to show off my details there, but another Bath and Body Works haul. So, this receipt they sent me has got candle safety information on the back of it, which is weird because I didn't order any candles. Anyway, I ordered more soap and more hand sanitizer. So this is going to be haul number three. Now you may be asking yourself, why did I order some of the same soaps that I previously ordered? If I wasn't that nuts about them the first time. And that's because I didn't know what they smelled like when I placed these orders. I was like, should I get one? Should I get two? Should I get three? I don't know. Okay, so let's start off with one that I didn't do last time. So I ordered the Island Papaya which is in my favorite color, purple. Now, normally this is not a scent I would have ordered because I would think it would be one of those generic, fruity, Bath & Body Works, nondescript scents. But because you know I'm a fan of the Agave Papaya Sunset, one of my favorite scents of all time, I decided to try the Island Papaya also because it's so beautiful. And I was hoping it would smell like that. So let's see what the keynotes are. This says tropical coconut, fresh papaya, and sugar cane. Then why does it, I don't know, it kind of looks like a pear and a mango, but I guess that's the papaya. So, coconut, papaya, and sugar cane. Let's see what this smells like. Yep. It's exactly what I thought it was going to smell like. It is that nondescript, fruity, Bath and Body Works scent. You kind of smell the papaya. I only smell the papaya. I smell a very light papaya scent. I don't smell really any coconut. And I don't smell any sugar cane. It's not a sweet scent at all. It's like very just fruity papaya and not even that fruity. If I would have smelled this in the store, I would not have bought it. Mm -mm. It's okay. I'll use it. I'll enjoy it, you know. But it's not one of the scents that I would have picked up. I've been surprised at which scents I've liked and which scents I haven't liked. So, this one, we'll put this in the mediocre. It's okay, but it's got pretty packaging. Um, then, this one I was excited to try. And I've heard that this does not smell like I thought it was going to smell like, which is bad because I ordered two. So this is the Cotton Candy Skies uh, in the Gentle Gel Hand Soap. It's got a very pretty uh, light pink packaging to it. And this says Sun Sweetened Orange, Strawberry Sugar, and Vanilla Bean. So I opened one. This one is still sealed. I don't know why they seal some of the soaps and not others, like they didn't seal this one. So let's see what Cotton Candy Skies smells like. Orange, sugar, strawberry sugar, and vanilla bean. Yeah, that does smell like cotton candy. Yeah, one of my, my subscribers said that it didn't. It does. It doesn't smell like super, super sweet, but it definitely smells like cotton candy. I definitely get the orange, the strawberry sugar, the vanilla bean. I, this one, they, they got it right on the nose, literally. You, you do, you get the strawberry, you do get the vanilla, and you get the orange, which all together, blended, makes for that cotton candy scent. Yeah, I like this one. This one is really nice. Mmm. Mmm. This is very good. Yeah, so thumbs up for the Cotton Candy Skies. Really, really good. So you guys know that so far, <laughs> so far the Cotton Candy Skies and that iced vanilla cookie with the little doggy on it. That one, I forget, yeah, is that what it was called? Yep. Um, that, that one was just amazing. I ordered more of that. That was just 
wonderful, but this is really pretty. Not only does it get a thumbs up for the packaging, but it really gets a thumbs up for the scent. I would purchase more of this during, uh, if they have a semi-annual sale, it goes down to three bucks. That's definitely worth picking up. Cotton Candy Skies, good one. Okay, so you guys know that I'm not a fan of Endless Weekend. There are, and this is one of the soaps that's marked 850 because it's in the black container. Uh, but this is not, this is not like velvety, like the vanilla coconut, which I'll get to. Um, so Endless Weekend, I'm not a fan. Everybody raves about this scent and the body care. And I just, you know, couldn't understand why. I didn't see what was so spectacular about it. But then I had uh, a pocket back in Endless Weekend in the old style container. And I tried it. I've been using up my pocket backs, my older ones, my new ones. And I really liked the Endless Weekend in the pocket back. So I decided to try the soap. Uh, it's a pretty packaging. This is good, I think, for a man or a woman, you know. But like I said, every scent could be for everybody. I'm not putting labels on anything. So this says, Fresh Summer Mandarin, Sun-Kissed Magnolia, and Blue Coconut Water. I don't know. I don't know what that means. So let's see. It smells, it smells like the pocket back that I had. It has like, um, it's really hard to describe. I wouldn't say it's perfumey. It's kind of perfumey. It's perfumey in a, like a, a non-gender specific way. Let's see. Let's look at the description again. Fresh summer mandarin. I don't smell any kind of mandarin orange scent at all. Sun-kissed magnolia. Okay. I guess magnolia. Blue coconut water. I don't know what that, what blue coconut water smells like. What? A blue coconut? It's like a really nondescript, okay, kind of perfumey scent. I mean, if you smelled Endless Weekend in the body care, it probably smells the same to you in the soap. And I'm sudsing on myself here. Um, I really like the pocket back, but um, like I said, that's when I actually used it. So it's hard to tell on cold sniff um, as opposed to actually using the soap. So Endless Weekend, um, I'm not like super in love with it, but it's okay. So then moving on to two that I purchased before. Now I had purchased the vanilla coconut. I got another one of it because I didn't know what it smelled like. I placed these orders one after the other, not knowing what the scents smelled like. And I had picked up one vanilla coconut and then I was like, you know, what if it's really good? I should probably pick up another one. So that's what I did. I picked up another of the vanilla coconut, excuse my bandana here. So as I said the first time, it smelled like a um, fresh coconut, not too much vanilla, not very sweet, but kind of an authentic coconut scent. And of course the packaging is really, please excuse my, my weird nails. These are like the worst glue on nails that I've tried so far. Um, the White Barn Vanilla Coconut, the packaging gets a thumbs up. It's really, really nice. But the scent, whipped vanilla peach blossom and warm coconut the whipped vanilla you think it would be like this amazingly sweet scent but it's not we'll smell it again yeah it's just like a um this one it smells stronger than the last one that i smelled i don't know why but it's a very strong coconut natural coconut scent so if you like natural scent fresh scents coconut scents i would say this would be a good one for you but i really don't smell any of that um vanilla or peach it's just straight up coconut okay so then i picked up more of this because i'll tell you why so this is the so so fantastic jawsome because I love sharks. But I got it because I thought it was going to smell like the pocket back. Remember Jawsome in the pocket back? 
this has a very nice manly cologne scent to it. It's really, really, really nice. A really manly cologne scent. The soap, not so much. It doesn't, it disappointed me because it was not as, as great as Jossum the Pocket Back. Golden Apricot Nectar, Blue Orchid Petals, and Coral Sands. So let's smell it again. It just smells like a weird kind of, like I said, it's it's a little bit cologne, not as much cologne as the pocket pack. Little cologne, little body odor scent, little bit of ocean. So if you're with a manly guy who's wearing cologne, he didn't do too much on his deodorant and he went for a swim in the ocean and then you smelled him. That's kind of what he would smell like. But I still like it. I still like it. I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, I still think that that iced vanilla cookie and the cotton candy skies are my favorite so far. Uh, but if you're a shark fan, uh, it's a it's a good scent. It's good. It's not off it's not awful it's not awful but um it's not spectacular either and i kind of wish they would have done the packaging like um the pocket back as opposed to that so and this does not say the scent notes oh sea breeze so this says draw some sea breeze Okay, then I picked up some of the pocket back sprays. So we're gonna smell these and we're gonna see what they smell like. So I got the water, watermelon lemonade and the citrus and sunshine, which is one of the reasons why I don't like buying scents online because you know what citrus smells like? What does sunshine smell like? And we all know what watermelon lemonade smells like. So let's try some of the citrus and sunshine. smells like kitchen lemon it smells exactly like kitchen lemon citrus and sunshine it's kitchen lemon not even limoncello kitchen lemon definitely should i take this off oh okay and then the watermelon lemonade i picked up in the pocket back in the the gel let's see what it smells like in the spray oh that one that one smells like watermelon lemonade in the actual pocket back the the jelly one i didn't think it smelled so much like watermelon lemonade but this smells like watermelon lemonade like if you love the watermelon lemonade candle soap just the scent in general that smells like watermelon lemonade. You definitely get the watermelon. You definitely get the lemon. That smells really good. And I'm not a fan of watermelon lemonade. Then I picked up two packages of pocket backs. So I got one of the scents that I particularly don't like, which is the black cherry Merlot, because it smells like Luden's cough drops. And then I got the love rose and vanilla. So we're going to smell these and we're going to see what they're what they smell like. Okay, so. The Love Rose and Vanilla. I don't smell anything. Give it a second to dry down. That's nice. That's really, really nice. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna pick this up in the in the um, body care. It's like a very light rose petal scent, but not in a grandma way. You know how sometimes rose scents can smell like an old lady. 
I don't really get the vanilla so much, maybe a teeny bit. Maybe that's what's taking away from that, that grandma rose scent. But um, it looks so weird. I'm like, you smelling my hands. Um, it's a really, really nice rose scent. If you're a fan of rose, uh, definitely, definitely the rose and vanilla. Really nice. So definitely going to be using that. And then let's try some of the black cherry Merlot. Which, like I said, smells like Luden's cough drops. Maybe this will surprise me. So here's the black cherry Merlot. The packaging is so nondescript. It's just this wine color. Let's see. Yep. Luden's cough drops. Mm-hmm. Luden's cough drops. Yep. I am not a fan of black cherry Merlot. I have never been a fan of black cherry Merlot. There are people that love that scent. If you love the scent of Luden's cough drops, then by all means, pick it up. I mean, I'll use it. It's okay. But it's definitely not one of my favorite scents. It's one of my least favorite scents. And not one that I would pick up as a soap or anything like that. So, that's it. Um, as far as what I purchased, I would definitely pick up, if you guys want recommendations, the Rose Vanilla is definitely one to pick up. If you have a choice between the Citrus and, sh and Sunshine and the Watermelon Lemonade, and you like Watermelon Lemonade, then get this one because it's really true to the scent. Citrus and Sunshine, if you like Kitchen Lemon, Citrus and Sunshine. The the Jawsom, just going over it again, this does not smell like this. Vanilla Coconut smells like fresh coconut. Endless Weekend, if you're a, if you're a fan of the body care, you'll probably like the soap. Island Papaya is meh. It's papaya light, watered down papaya scent. It's okay. If you like purple and you like the packaging, then pick it up. But it's not a super winner for me. For me, the Cotton Candy Skies, definitely my favorite out of this haul. Definitely check that out. I think it smells like cotton candy and I love the packaging with the fireworks on it. They did not have this in the foaming soap when I purchased this online. So I got the six soaps for 26 the pocket backs were five for eight dollars the citrus and sunshine and this pack well these are not pocket backs these are handy back sprays were 550 and just in case you want to know cdc recommendation for hand sanitizer is 60 percent this is 72 percent alcohol and your pocket backs are going to be 68% alcohol. So Bath and Body Works does do a good job as far as their alcohol content on their pocket bags. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. Stay tuned to my channel for more hauls because I have more orders coming in the mail. Uh, make sure that you comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.